Good morning, YouTube. This video is for all Intel Mac users, M1, M2, and M3 only, okay? M4 users, sorry, can't help you. Anyway, many of you have gone to 15.2 Sequoia by now, all right? Probably having some problems with your Mac in some form or another. These problems are countless. It, it's gonna vary depending on your Mac, etc. And I mean, with Apple Silicon, it should be pretty standard uh, of the problems. All hell broke loose for me when I went to the pure version of 15.2 Sequoia, okay? Which means I downloaded the actual 15.2 installer. So this is not about updating, this is about throwing it in straight in. Anyway, that's when all hell broke loose for me. All right, and I had all kinds of issues going on. I went back to Sonoma. I re-updated to 15.2 because my initial up upgrade to 15.2 didn't seem to exhibit any problems. Okay, well, even going once I went back from the pure version to the Sonoma 15.2 upgrade, I had a couple of problems left over. Okay, mainly my Bluetooth keyboard and mouse were acting up, but I had USB issues, I had Bluetooth issues, I had all kinds of problems going on with the pure version, okay? So, this frustrated me. Now, Sonoma has never given me a day of grief. And I've never had problems even previous to that, other than a monitor issue once on Monterey and found the fix and gave it to you guys. And many of you guys were thanking me for saving your life. Anyways, um, your only fix for any issues, period, okay? You have two options right now. Option number one is you stick it out with 15.2, put up with the crap until the next update. Hopefully things get fixed, okay? That's for all of you, all right? For Intel, M1, M2, M3. There are many Intel Macs that will natively support Sequoia. In fact, even the next major OS release that's coming out some point this year, in, there are Intel Macs that will be able to use it. But the rest of you are all cut off. Okay? So, with that, you have option two. Go back to Sonoma. That's your only other hope. Okay? I went back to Sonoma. It's been, this is day three now. Absolutely no problems. Okay, no Bluetooth issues of any kind, no USB issues, no nothing. Now, I never did get any monitor issues. Um, that is something that there's only been maybe a couple of handfuls worth of Mac users that had any kind of monitor issues on any of the M series chips. Okay, um, mainly it's on the M4. Okay, so. But you may have had this on M1, M2, or M3. You may have had some monitor issues when you updated 15.2. Again, your solution for that is pretty simple. You try replacing your HDMI cable with a better one, or monitor, or both. That will fix your problem, because there's just no driver support for your particular screen or perhaps your cable. Okay, or both. So that's why you would be exhibiting issues all of a sudden just by doing an update only even. Okay, go back to Sonoma is your cheapest out. And everything's wonderful in Mac land again for you. All right. I normally love to have the most up-to-date OS. Okay, and I will run it generally for about two weeks because it usually takes about that long for Apple to get the full installer, so no update, onto the App Store, okay, once they release it. Once they do, then I tend to just, I don't have to back anything up because the way I run my computer, that's coming. Um, anyway, I'll reformat the drive and I use a USB stick and load a full pure OS on there, right? Saves me drive space, saves me actual RAM usage, etc. Okay, and runs 
pretty rock stable. Until now, 15.2 is a curse. So, and that's been well seen, not just on YouTube, but on multiple forums I've been on. And Intel users are also being affected, yes. M1, M2, and M3 users also being affected, okay? I've also had a couple people get on my videos with uh, such machines as the Apple Silicon. No, no Intel users come on my, my uh, channel yet about Sequoia problems, but I've read them online on Apple discussion boards and other places, okay? So, the, the only real hope here is Sonoma for the time being, realistically. It's your cheapest out. It's the because we don't know when Apple's going to do another update. I just scanned for updates again this morning when I got up. I've been up since like 4:30. It's 5:02 now. God, I wish I could get some sleep for a change. Anyway, so still no new updates, and Apple does have a major nightmare to fix with the Mac Mini M4, which I have a video about, and the fact that it's a design flaw, which is what's going on with at least the Wi-Fi issues and probably Bluetooth. And both of them are on the same card after all, so if you're having both issues, yeah, you're, uh, that, that's gonna have to be something that Apple deals with, all right? And that's a warranty thing. So it's either that or just get a full refund if you haven't had it that long and get something different, like, I don't know, go back to a M3 series or, you know, get an M4 MacBook. They seem to be pretty good. Other than one problem, we'll talk about that in another video too. But that wasn't the MacBook, that was the user, <sighs> unfortunately. Anyways, so this is the only help I can give you. Just go back to Sonoma, go back to Happy Land, wait until they come out with an update that's reported as my problems are solved, kind of fixed for people. Um, I am not going back to any version of Mac OS 15. I am holding off until the next new major OS, and then we'll see what kind of hell breaks loose on my ass then on my M1 Mini, right? So, I have an M1 Mini, and yeah, it shouldn't be affecting me theoretically, but, well, hey, you know what? It's affecting everybody, so what the hell? Uh, at least there's no Wi-Fi issues on anything below the M4s. Uh, at least there shouldn't be. Okay, I know I've never had a Wi-Fi issue, um, but I've also never had Bluetooth issues before either. But then again, we are talking about Mac OS 15 is wreaking hell, so there you go. Now, just as an FYI, um, even the update will have some adverse effects, possibly on some of your gear. My wife has Apple EarPods, okay, and she has the same configuration of a Mini as I do, because that's what I bought for her. This way, we'd be not so much twins, but both have equal machines. She came from PC world. She hated Macs. I converted her. Yes. Only took me 17 years. Um, anyways, she's having some dropouts with Bluetooth with going from Sonoma to 15.2. I don't use earbuds, right? But she has a Mac Masters um, MX keyboard, the Mac only version. I've got the dual version and I have the MX Master mouse uh, this is more of the PC side, but they're Mac and PC both, and the drivers too, but I don't use the drivers. That was another nightmare. Um, but, um, she's not exhibiting any Bluetooth issues, even with her Microsoft Bluetooth mouse, right? She's only having the earbud issue, and she's confirmed it is Sequoia, because she uses those same earbuds, on her iPhone and her iPad and absolutely no problems, okay? So that limits it to Sequoia. Now, I don't know if she's gonna get frustrated enough to go backwards again, which means Kevy's gonna be reloading her Mac, uh, which is fine. Um, but for now, she's putting up with it. Maybe the next update will fix her problem. So there is an Apple earbud issue going on and she has the same M1 Mini as mine 16 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD. Anyway, that's what I have for you guys. Um, comments are down below. Let me know what kind of problems you're having, but that's your only, the only cheap way out is to go back to Sonoma. That's all you can do at this point until things get worked out. So 
See ya.